Hello students and welcome back to Chemistry A. I'm Ms. Slate and today we're going to be talking about how to name acids. So first off, let's look at the example HCl. We should be able to tell that this is in fact a molecular compound because hydrogen and chlorine are both nonmetals. So if we were going to write its compound name, we'd make it hydrogen monochloride. And we could also draw a Lewis dot structure for it like so. However, if you take hydrogen monochloride and you put it in water, you will find that it ionizes and it separates into hydrogen ions and chloride ions. The presence of the hydrogen ions indicate that an acid has been formed. And this tends to happen when water is added to any molecular hydrogen compound. It ionizes and forms an acid. First, let's talk about how to name binary acids, where a binary acid is where you have a hydrogen with just one other element. First, you're going to add the prefix hydro. Then you'll write the root of the anion, and you'll change the ending of the anion to IC. And lastly, you'll just add the word acid onto the end. So for example, HF, our anion is fluorine, so the root is fluor, so we'd make it hydrofluoric acid. On the other hand, hydrosulfuric acid means that it's an acid made of hydrogen and sulfur, so its formula would be H2S. Now let's do some practice. Take a minute to pause the video, folks, and first off, write the neutral compound, making sure the ion charges come out to be zero then write the name of the binary acid. All right, let's see how you did. Hydrogen and chlorine will combine in a one-to-one -one ratio, HCl, which would be hydrochloric acid, chlor being the root of chlorine. Hydrogen and phosphide, they're gonna combine in a three-to-one ratio, and that's gonna be hydrophosphoric acid. Lastly, hydrogen and bromine will combine in a one-to-one -one ratio to form hydrobromic acid. Now let's talk about how to name oxyacids, where it's a hydrogen with an oxyanion. And these names are based almost entirely off of the oxyanion name. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the root of the anion and you're going to use that for the main part of the acid name. Then you're going to change the ending of the ion depending on what ending it already has. So if the anion ends in ATE, its acid name ends in IC. If the anion ends in ITE, the acid name ends in OUS. 8 to ic, it to os. And then lastly, you just tack on the word acid at the end. So if we look at some examples, our first one, a hydrogen ion and a chlorate ion combine to form HClO3. Since the anion ended in ATE, we make it chloric acid. On the other hand, if hydrogen combines with the chlorite ion, HClO2, since the anion ended in ITE, we change the ending to OUS and it becomes chlorous acid. So take a minute to pause the video and see if you can write the names for hydrogen combining with the sulfate and sulfite ions. All right, let's see how you did. So hydrogen combines with sulfate in a two to one ratio, which would become sulfuric acid. Hydrogen will combine with sulfite also in a two to one ratio, and this becomes sulfurous acid. And that's all there is to writing the names for acids. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.